I just wanted to get on here. I start my um, spine surgery rotation tomorrow and I know when I first started my first rotation, I had no idea what to bring. Um, our rotations are different. Mine's only two weeks long. Um, and so now that I kind of have one under my belt that I did in the spring, um, I kind of think I have a better idea of what I could um, bring with me, what's not necessary, especially for ortho rotations, because my last rotation was foot and ankle surgery. So um, yes, but first I want to start off with the type of bag I bring. Um, so it's just a Kate Spade tote. You can bring any tote bag. I bought the base work tote for my rotations. And to be honest, it's just a little bit big for what I have to bring to my rotations right now. Maybe when I'm in my third year and I'm doing more and um, am in bigger settings, like hospitals and stuff, it'll be easier to bring that type of bag. But for right now, this works really well for me. It's I think it's a perfect size, it's not too big. If I need to tuck it away somewhere, um, and I mean, it's Kate Spades. I mean, it's a nicer brand. It's not, you know, I didn't got, get it um, anywhere. So I spent a little bit of money on it and it's fine. But yeah, for the most part, like it's pretty big. It has two pockets, um, a little zipper pocket. Um, yeah, so this is what, this is the bag I bring. Um, also, this is a must. Um, a huge water bottle. I'm obsessed with it. It's um, half a gallon. I got it on Amazon. It has really cute little um, sayings. Um, and it has this nice handle, which I love, but I'm not a person that can fill my water bottle six times in a day. I just won't do it. I'll forget to fill it up. And then, um, so this, I have a lot of water that I need to drink. I can fill this up or I fill this up before I leave. And then, um, I can fill it up again when I'm there or even when I get home for the night. Um, a lot of times I can still get at least through another one of these or at least half of another one of these. Um, so yes, I would highly recommend a big water bottle because, Especially in ortho clinics, what I've noticed so far is it's very busy and it can be very hectic. And sometimes, like, this is all you get to, like, grabbing a quick drink is, like, all you can do. So having your water in one big water bottle is super helpful. Um, all right, so let's get started. Obviously, keys and wallet. <laughs> um, I bring these, obviously, sometimes, especially with these rotations, I don't always know if they're getting my ID. I mean, I have my student ID, but just in case, um, my keys have my AirPod, hair, AirPods on them. That's why I want to talk about those. I don't, I haven't used them yet, but I definitely could foresee me using them if, for instance, there's time in between surgeries and I'm trying to look up what type of surgery we're going to do on YouTube or um, if they work through lunch and I get a lunch um, and I just need, you know, to decompress or step away for a little bit or even sometimes take a phone call life still happens even when you're at um clinical so obviously it's unprofessional I mean if it's in a professional setting which has happened to me before um like there was someone from my program calling me in the middle of the day so definitely these are helpful um also just small things I'm bringing with me um obviously a mask <laughs> in this particular rotation they wear masks still in clinic and if you guys know or you follow me on social media, I had COVID a couple weeks ago after two and a half years of avoiding it. So I'll be wearing this forever. Um, my last rotation, my preceptor was eating cinnamon gum all the time and I'm obsessed now. So this will be going with me to every rotation or cinnamon gum. Um, yes, will be going with me everywhere. I also wear my glasses um, because of the masks. I don't really wear them as much as I should. Um, but they're blue light. They really help me see, especially like if it's been a really long day. Um, sometimes it's just super helpful. I don't wear them in the OR though, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, so yeah, but definitely in clinic, it helps with me staring at the screen all day. Very, very helpful. Um, as far as medical equipment and references, um, in this rotation, I'm only going to bring my reflex hammer. My last rotation, I did bring um, my stethoscope a pen light what else is in my case um oh my tuning fork and it just wasn't something I needed um I probably won't need this because uh the supervising physician or the PA whichever one I'm following that day will have this um but just to be prepared it's nice to have your own stuff and sometimes you know it's nice to be in medicine and have medical equipment with you so I always bring that as far as reference guides go this Maxwell one I got when I signed up for AAPA and it's super helpful um, and quick stuff you need to know. Even it has it, it has a whole thing in here about um, like lab values, which because I'm in a clinic, I probably won't need that. But even just like how to write notes, um, like HPI notes, um, what to include in your review of systems, what to do with your physical exam, 
um, a neuro exam. So it's really, really helpful. Dermatomes, they were going to be the death of me. So we're going to take this with us for sure. So we have that. Um, also, I know, well, I don't know about everyone else, but for me, antibiotics are hard. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Most of the time it's based off of like clinical preference. And so I think this is gonna be really helpful to have. I doubt um, I will use it a lot in ortho. However, it is helpful if, you know, especially after surgery, they have a post-surgical infection or sepsis or um, osteomyelitis, things like that. These are really good um, things to have. If you don't have this, it's just broken up by body system. So, I cannot say enough about this book. <laughs> my preceptor from my last rotation knows I'm kind of interested in ortho long-term. So. Um, we kind of, she told me to get this book. It's not super expensive, um, but it's super duper helpful. So um, for the spine section, for instance, like there's radiology, um, there's also like dermatomes, nerve distributions, muscles. Um, and then there's a whole thing in here too about um, like arteries, veins, nerves, the whole thing. So super helpful, especially if you're getting pimped or if your preceptor just asks you a question that you don't know the answer to. It's always good to have a resource on hand that's not your phone. Um, Cause yes, you can look on your phone and stuff and that's great, but like sometimes it's nice to just have this out and then that way I can like flip to the section and if she's asking me, you know, what is the nerve of the thumb? Like I'm like, oh, boom, right here. You know what I mean? Or things like that. So this is going to be super helpful. I think in this rotation, I used it a lot in my last rotation. Um, and it was really nice because when my preceptor knew I had it, she would just say, okay, we'll go look it up. And she knew that like, I wasn't going to be on my phone. Like it's in this book. I could look it up and then I could ask her, I'm like, Hey, like, this is what this shows. Like, is this what you mean? You know what I mean? So this is super duper helpful if you're interested in ortho or even like want to buy it and then share with your classmates when they go on their ortho rotations. Really, really good for that. Um, I also bring two different notebooks. This is the H&P notebook, um, pre-PA students or PA students, or if you know a pre-PA student or PA student, um, this is super helpful. It's broken up in like name, HPI, past medical history, meds, allergies, review of systems. It's wonderful. It has like labs um, and it has um, like places for you to write them all down, um, physical exam stuff. I think this is really, really helpful, especially in like family medicine rotations or even like inpatient rotations. It is difficult to use in a clinical setting or like in a clinic setting, the ones that I've gone to just because we don't necessarily really ask patients about meds and things because we can already see it on their chart. Cause a lot of times either they're referred to us by their primary care physician um, or provider. And so a lot of this stuff, I just didn't want to waste pages um, during my ortho rotations. So I stopped using this. I used it a couple times in my last rotation, but I'm gonna take it with me. Um, because I am doing this rotation is clinic and the OR and so I'm not sure because we're operating at the hospital I don't know if we're gonna round on patients when we're done and like this could be really helpful just to practice um, this format so and then this one is just like a little notebook I bought from Target um, I don't even know how many pages are in it but this is what I use pretty much for my HPI in the ortho setting because usually the questions are um, more straight to the point I would say um and just like why are you here what's their story what happened how long ago did it happen you know what does it feel like can you explain it to me things like that so this is just super helpful it's just blank pages um and I really like it it's small it's like the size of my hand um so that's super duper helpful too um and lastly um I bring this little like toiletry bag I found this at Target <laughs> um but I kind of put all this stuff together so in here, I just have like a lint roller because who wants to be that student or what happens if you get pulled into something, for instance, like, I don't know, a setting where more of the hospital is there or the clinic is there. And so who wants to be that student, right? So I have that Aquaphor because it's good for everything. <laughs> um, I bring another hair tie and a clip, um, especially like depending on what we're doing, if I'm like taking, like there were times where I had to take sutures out and it was just super helpful to like put my hair up really fast so I could have like be clear. Um, especially since I wasn't super great at it at first. Um, hand sanitizer, obviously we've had the COVID conversation. Lotion, because hand sanitizer makes my hands so dry and I live in Colorado and it's already dry here. So this is a must. Deodorant, because smelling good really matters to me. Um, and I'm not sure about anybody else, but when you get nervous, it's sometimes you smell a little bit. So I take this, I really like the spray on, but I feel like it's really strong, which is nice. 
I also just found some in Axe because I do prefer men's deodorant. So we'll see if I take this one or the other one. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Um, shout because as a student, you're probably going to spill stuff on yourself or bodily fluids could get on you. And so it would be nice to have something that you could wipe it out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just got, I got most of this stuff at Target, but those are from Target, Tylenol. If you guys know my story, you know, like I have some legs issues and sometimes like standing all day can be a lot. And so sometimes I need a little help. And so Tylenol is helpful. Um, or if you get a headache sometimes, like you're not drinking enough water and stuff like that. So helpful for that. Um, well, that's going to fall. That's great. I also bring gas X, Imodium and dairy pills. Uh, shout out to my IBS and lactose intolerant girlies, uh, or guys. Um, who wants to be that student? <laughs> That's enough said. Uh, who wants to be that student? Or if you're not feeling great, you want to be that student, especially on like your, you know, first couple of days of your rotation. So, and dairy free pill or dairy pills all the time because you never know what they're going to bring to lunch. You never know what they're going to offer to get you for lunch. And to me, just the way I was raised, when people offer you food, you always say yes. Like it's just a polite thing to do. So, um, definitely have all this stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part where I'm throwing things everywhere. So yeah, as far as other things I bring, my lunch is always packed. I always bring a lunch. Um, again, I coffee, obviously that comes in the morning for sure. And a lot of times at the hospitals, the clinic, they have kitchens. And so they always have more coffee if necessary. Um, I do bring my iPad. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I bring my iPad. Sometimes I bring my computer. I personally believe that using your iPad or a computer is a little bit more professional than using your phone for things. Granted, there are really good apps. Um, one time in my last rotation, uh, we needed to look up um, a drug interaction and we hurried up and went on an app and found out, you know, so that was really helpful and that's great for things like that. But like for me, I put all my illness scripts on the numbers app and it's a lot easier to just like pull out my iPad and click on the app and everything is right there versus me going through my laptop. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna start off bringing my um, iPad, but if I feel like I need my computer, the next day I'll just bring my computer. Um, yeah, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, I obviously have like my my ID. Um, we have to wear another badge, so I have that too. Um, yeah, my biggest thing I realized is like, don't bring too much. It's a, like my first day of clinic, of like my last rotation, I brought so much stuff and literally I just realized that I just put my bag down and I never look at it again for the rest of the day. So just make sure that you know what you're bringing. When I go to the OR, I think my bag will be a little bit different. Maybe I can film one of those too, like if it's super duper different, but um, because in the OR you have OR scrubs, so you change out. So I'll probably go there and have on leggings and tennis shoes and whatever. And then I'll change into like my OR shoes that I have which is a, just a different other pair of tennis shoes. Um, I haven't invested in, you know, anything like that yet. Um, and then, you know, also too, sometimes in the OR or like, I just, you know, you might not want to wear the same clothes. So that'll just look, look a little bit different. But as far as like supplies go on the OR days, I probably will just bring that black notebook for questions. Um, maybe my, uh, that concise orthopedic manual. Um, and then my toiletry bag, obviously, but other than that, I don't necessarily think I'll bring everything else. Um, just because in the OR, obviously, you know, you can't really have any of it. So, um, just the necessities for the OR days, but other than that, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, if you follow me on social media, my, um, handles are at almost PA, almost dot PA on Instagram. Um, I don't have a Twitter with that handle yet, but feel free to follow me and I will definitely also be posting a reel of that toiletry bag. So if you forget or you don't want to scroll through this whole video, that's totally okay. Um, and you guys can go see where I got them. Hope this was helpful. Bye.